Hi, this is Olivia from Olivia's Looms and Crafts, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the heart bracelet. This is a Valentine's Day design since Valentine's Day is in a month, and yeah, we are filming in January, so y'all. So, what you're going to need is, of course, your loom, your hook, an S clip or C clip. Um, some piles of rubber bands. I prefer two colors, so yeah, let's get started. So, what we are going to do first is take our first color. It can be a different color from the two colors you are using, like I did here with the first starting, but you can take the same color, which I will be doing here because I think it looks better. So you're going to place that in, if you have watched my uh, th my triple single video, this for lining the things to hold them together, you're going to just place a rectangle on the loom just like that, upside down, making sort of a V with a line across it. So let's put the long rubber bands over that. So take two of the same color and stretch them out like that from the first pin to the second pin on the left and then do that same thing on the other side creating a V and you're placing them long ways so they'll be going out pretty long then take the two other color and place them like that just from the side pins here into the middle, just like an A, not crossed, of course. So then do that step over. We are going to start from here and place the rubber band up. Then place it from there, placing the rubber band up. You'll do this all the way down the loom, repeating this whole step, facing them like that. again and then in and in okay so I'll do this with you one more time and then I'm going to fast forward till the end of the loom again you're doing that same thing till the end of the loom so yeah so and then there. So now I'm going to fast forward from here till the end of the loom doing the same thing. Okay, so now we have stopped here to do the different pattern just a little bit. We are going to go up with either of your colors. I'm actually going to take my red. That's what I did the long ones with. And you're just going to place it straight, right where the pink is in the middle. So then you're going to take your other color or the same color to finish it off. Anything's fine. And do those little pink ones that I have done with mine and push it down. The last step is to add your cap band, which I'm going to do a little bit of a different color here. That's white. And put it on. So now we're going to turn our rainbow loom around so the red arrow is facing us and start looming. Da -da 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 -da. So let's start. So the first step is to go in and grab that first top rubber band, which is this outer one that you're going to loom out. Then grab this, go back and grab this other pink one and loom it out to itself. Go back in, grab that one last rubber band there and loom it out to itself straight up. And that's what you should have, sort of like a moose face with two head reindeer ears and, or horns, and 
this is what it looks like. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now you're going to do your next step, which is looming these big, long red ones to the middle over here. You're just going to go in, grab them, and loom them up. It's a little bit of a tug, but not much. Do the same thing on the other side, and yeah. You're going to loom these out from the center, and then repeat that step all the way up the loom till you reach this spot, and I will teach you how to finish it off with that big triangle up there. So I will do this a few more times, and yeah, fast forward. So looming it out. This out. Loom that in. And then you're going to loom that out. And then, yes, yeah, so I'm going to fast forward from here, continuing that step all the way up to here, and then I will teach you have to finish it off. So yeah, you're practically just looming it to itself. So yeah, I'll fast forward from here now. Okay, so now I have this, and we're just going to loom these out like we did with the other pink rubber bands. And then this last step is probably one of the easiest steps you ever could do, is you're just going here, grab this end, loom it to here, and do that same thing on the other side. And, was it? You're done with the looming for this part of the bracelet. Let's take it off. Take your hook through, grab the same color rubber band or an off color like white or another holiday color or it can even be rainbow color. Whatever, get creative. Then pull this through if you really want to. If you don't want to and make your bracelet look like one of the bracelets that are out there usually. My, I just do this with mine because it um, just helps it from not falling off and it's easier to take it off. That's what I learned. It's very easy to take it off. After you're done taking this off, just pull it a little bit. This bracelet will need a little bit of tugging just to get it in the desired shape you want it. So yeah. If you think of it, it might look like a wider fishtail that's just not long enough to fit around your whole wrist. But we're going to fix that not long enough by adding an extension. Now I'm going to do a pattern. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be, if it's going to be pink, pink, red, or just pink, red, pink. I guess I'll just do what I think. And you're going to turn your rainbow loom around so the red arrow is now facing away from you again as when we started, so. If I didn't mention that this is sort of reversible if you think of it, I do really like this side. It sort of looks like it's a little captured in there, but it looks like there's stars here, or triangles here, and then voila, you have hearts on the other side. But So now I'm just going to take my pattern or just one color and go up the loom. My um, wrist is only five little chains long, for an adult wrist, you might need a bit more than that, maybe 10, but this is what my wrist is, because that's what I always do, so yeah. Then take your bracelet and then pull out the cap band here and put it on and pull it over to that. And voila, it's on your loop. Now all there is is to loom it. You can turn a loom around, or you can just loom it this way. This is a simple step um, from my other videos. This is just the extension. And if you do want to know how to make a normal chain, I've mentioned this in my other videos, just do this all the way up the loom to fit your wrist, or just maybe two pegs off or one peg off. Depends how long your wrist is. So, yeah. 
then you're just going to keep looming it either towards you or away from you if you turn your loom around. But you're just going in and grabbing the bottom of the band. It's not that hard at all. <laughs> and then once you're done with that, this just makes it easier to pull it. It does stretch out the rubber bands a little bit, but nothing does harm to it. So there, make sure it's all on and pull it off. Oh, that swung a lot. Then clip it and you have your heart bracelet complete. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you on how to make the heart bracelet and subscribe, come back in a few days for more and um, bye.